This is how you break in a baseball glove. Today we're going to be looking at a few things. So first we're going to be doing the break in tips. You hit right there. For five or ten minutes. And then sometimes if you want to you can do this for five or ten minutes. And then for the pinky side, you push this down, roll over it, and then use this and smash right where that ball glove logo goes. Then after that, you shape the glove. I push the pinky, I roll the pinky, roll the fingers, clear the thumb, push this down so there's more room. Then after that, I'm going to show you what you don't want to do. The number one thing is you don't want to squeeze the glove close. You make palm bubbles, they never go away. Then the next thing you want, you don't want to do is you don't really want to like clear these fingers out. It's not the worst. Just typically don't want to. Then the third thing you don't want to do is you don't really want to make the web loose. Then you would swing back and hit you in the face. Don't want to do that. Then the next, then the things you want to do is you can try to turn the pinky it's mostly for outfielders, but infielders, you can if you have a shallow pocket. And then the second thing you want to do, kind of, is you kind of want to break, you want to break in the hinges the most. Make it so it lasts the longest. After that, what you do want to do is you you need to form a pocket and you if you have a glove mallet or a five or three pound weight that's rubber, you hit right where these two laces are right there in the third. Then after that, you hit right there. And then you can hit the palm a little on the fingers. And then after that, you can hit where this logo is. Breaking in the palm. Then after that, you can do all that stuff with a five pound weight. It will be more heavy, so breaking it more. Okay, bye.